The Tejas Light Combat Aircraft of the Indian Air Force will take part in Singapore Air Show, that will be held from 15th February to 18th February. The Singapore Defence Minister has already undertaken a 30-minute sortie in the Tejas aircraft, and he hailed the Tejas as a very very capable aircraft, and the flight was excellent and very impressive. Singapore has expressed interest in procuring the Tejas aircraft in the past, and after the participation of the Tejas in the Dubai Air Show 2021, several countries from East Europe, South Asia, West Asia and South America had expressed interest in the Tejas light combat aircraft. The Tejas is already the top contender in Royal Malaysian Air Force's tender to procure 36 multi-role light combat aircraft in two phases. Hindustan Aeronautics is already working to establish logistics bases in several countries including Malaysia, Vietnam, Indonesia and Sri Lanka for the export of Tejas aircraft and light combat helicopter, and several countries will be keeping a close eye on the aerial maneuvers by the Tejas at the upcoming Singapore Air Show. The DRDO-owned Airbus A319 aircraft has been transferred to the Center for Airborne Systems facility in Bengaluru, and the aircraft has been equipped with rudimentary sensors and instruments, and an Indian Air Force crew has now started familiarization sorties along with officials from the Center for Airborne Systems. The Airbus A319 flying test bed will be used for the design and developmental testing of the upgraded airborne early warning and control sensor package suite for the Netra Mark II aircraft, Istar aircraft, and the C295-based indigenous multi-mission maritime aircraft program. The six A321 aircraft that have been transferred from the Air India to Indian Air Force will be heading to the Airbus facility in Europe by end of 2022 for structural modification, that will be followed by trials. Tanbo Imaging has announced that the company was the first Indian company to develop a see-through armor technology known as STAR, and it has now developed a new version of the STAR, which features 30% reduction in size weight and power requirements. The STAR is a panoramic imaging system that intelligently integrates primary and secondary armament systems, and multiple sensors for all-weather day and night vision, and is an ideal solution for the next-generation infantry fighting vehicles and tanks. The Indian Army is seeking new ballistic helmets that can offer a greater level of protection to troops against 762 by 39 mm high-velocity bullets at a distance of 10 meters, as well as from high-speed blast fragments. A request for proposal has been issued by Army Headquarters, in which the Army has projected a requirement for 80,000 helmets which includes 3,600 helmets for troops deployed in counter-terror operations, and the indigenous content in the helmets should be at least 50%. The helmets should also incorporate tactical rails for attachment of additional equipment such as night vision devices, face visor, torch, and in-service radio communication sets. According to a latest media report, Pakistan Air Force is likely to add 50 JF-17 Block 3 fighter jets next month, and a Pakistani expert has said that the induction of JF-17 Block 3 is aimed at upgrading its capability against India's S-400 system. The Pakistani expert also said that the S-400 has been found to be largely ineffective against some of the advanced multi-role fighter jets with near-stealth features, and he also claimed that the JF-17 Block III is a near-stealth aircraft with advanced software and radar capabilities, that can be used to deceive the tracking system of S-400 missiles, that makes it the best option to counter the S-400 system. The Indian Institute of Science in Bengaluru has commissioned one of the most powerful supercomputers in India, which has a supercomputing capacity of 3.3 petaflops. The supercomputer has been commissioned in the institution to power diverse research and educational pursuits from across the country. Oh,